Hello Scorpio! Welcome to your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, let's see what messages will show up for you today. Scorpio, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Divine Masculine, okay. So Scorpio, um, you might be Divine Masculine or you're dealing here with Divine Masculine. This person, Scorpio, sees you as their soulmate. They have deep love for you. They feel this connection. But um, there, is a, there is a tension between the two of you. I feel this person really is confusing you, Scorpio. Or they've been confusing you, or it's like they confuse you. It's, there is something about them being very, very loving and caring, and next day being very argumentative. Someone who, this person can be very, very, um, very strong with their words let's say it that way but i feel that they created some sort of tension and this person brought confusion and at the end of the day you didn't know exactly how they've been feeling about the situation what's truly it's going on there is some sort of attachments influences here playing quite a significant role in the middle of all of it we have third parties attachments Someone here might have got involved in that whole situation and it's kind of influencing this person, that divine masculine for some of you. Yeah. And instead of kind of um, focusing on this connection in a sense of, you know, nourishing this connection, I feel this person really kind of um, really focused on on listening to someone else for some of you or you didn't care with someone who has unhealthy habits attachments you know um, yeah and that really affected this connection I feel that at some point you found yourself Scorpio where you were feeling that I'm not quite sure if this connection can be taken into the next level if I can see growth within this connection because of this person's attitude Mm -hmm. open heart empathy vulnerable I feel this person when the things are okay they don't have problem being vulnerable but <laughs> this is someone who is who is changing very much their perspective, their views, their feelings, depending on the circumstances. Could you please show me more? That a little bit that reminds me a little bit of someone. I mean, this is like a metaphor. This person is like a flag on a wind, you know, when it depends how the wind will blow, that's how this person will direct, will change, will change their direction, you know, that's what I am getting. Show me more, please. The lovers, that's soulmate energy. You might be dealing with Gemini. King of Wands, Three of Wands, the Hermit, we have a Virgo here as well.
temperance sagittarius four of cups okay four of wands number 44 may be quite important or numbers four four might be of significance and we have two of wands and we have knight of pentacles yeah habits something here is taking forever that's overall energy for this part of the reading so you have someone here who feels that you know you are their soulmate we have the lovers and the four of wands so you might be dealing here with your twin flame for some of you but i feel that you know with the four of cups something here is not fully working for you and it hasn't been working for quite a while yeah you didn't care with someone who's very moody scorpio and when this person it's not in a good mood the best is to just kind of you know give them space with the three of wands and two of wands okay i'll just wait when this person is going to have a better day or kind of when they changed their mood when the mood when they when their mood will change the lovers king of wands three of wands the hermit yeah the cards here are showing a connection scorpio but i feel that at the end of the day you found yourself at some point being very very lonely within this connection by your own you know emotionally energetically with the hermit that also kind of i i'm also getting here very strongly that um for some of you you've changed completely perspective and regarding this regarding connections and relationship in general it's like um something that you thought that is that you're looking for within relationship or maybe about the person i feel that now for a lot of you you've kind of changed completely view about that particular thing we have king of wands three of wands i feel that you know this person can be very charismatic a very ambitious this is someone who might have that natural x factor with the king of wands people are naturally drawn to them but that king of wands uh, it's moody four of cups I feel this person at some point might have even told you that I don't want this. I don't want this connection. I don't care. Yeah. Because I'm seeing someone who is very, can be very harsh with their words. Mm -hmm. And then they're changing because their emotions are changing. Because their mood is changing, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I am getting here very strongly. Temperance four of cups four of wands two of wands yeah it's like i feel at some point this person rejected this connection four of cups with the four of wands that king of wands though it's planning here something with the three of wands two of wands they are thinking a lot about you it's like they are still planning for the future with the temperance here is the thing i feel that this person gave you an impression that they have one foot in and one foot out regarding this whole situation that's why they brought that energy of confusion and uncertainty knight of pentacles this is someone something here needs moderation and it feels like it's taking forever for this person to to change or to resign from certain habits and it doesn't make the situation any easier seven of wands they pushed you away could you please show me this person's feelings towards scorpio mm, two of pentacles upside downs roller coaster of emotions 
six of cups and the six of pentacles you might be seeing many repeated numbers scorpio we have now 66 or 66 six might be quite important for your situation they feelings towards you two of pentacles six of cups six of pentacles <laughs> yeah so this is someone here who feels this who has feelings for you they haven't forgotten about you you know six of cups suggests that this person wants to reunite with you or they want to have reconciliation they want to reconnect six of cups it's a card of the past that wants to resurface itself again and it's in their feelings six of pentacles yeah it's like this you see we have that kind of theme it's like this person wants to be in touch with you they want to show you that they have time attention and affection for you with the six of pentacles two of pentacles but they don't know what how to do it i'm also get and i need to tell you here scorpio you're dealing here with someone who is very very conditioned by their mood in the sense of all those emotions because two of pentacles it's like this once it's great next day can be completely different story and I feel and it's in their feelings so you may be dealing here with someone who indeed is very moody or this person comes across as someone who might be quite emotionally unstable doesn't have to be the case but they might come across that way they might be giving you that sort of impression but they are juggling it they are juggling they are juggling here on emotional level how to come forward and have that reconciliation with you Knight of Wands, they are very, very, very passionate about this. They want this because they are also very passionate about you. But that Knight of Wands, again, brings that energy of hot and cold in and out. It represents someone who's very inconsistent. And at the end of the day, we just don't know what truly is going on. And that's, again, on an emotional level. This is someone who's still bringing some sort of form of uncertainty regarding their true feelings could you please show me this person's actions towards scorpio in the near future immediate future let's see So we have three of swords, the moon, six of swords, and five of wands. And we have queen of swords as an overall energy for the action. You might be dealing with Gemini. I also have uh, Pisces, Cancerian energy, Three of Swords, the Moon, Six of Swords, Five of Wands. When it comes to immediate future, near future Scorpio, I'm not seeing them taking any significant action. Three of Swords, this person here, it's aware that they broke that they broke your heart. The Moon. that they brought that uncertainty lack of clarity and doubt this is someone who doesn't know what to do it's like they are thinking they are planning to reach out but six of swords five of wands they created some sort of kind of tension and the thing is here that as much as this person wants to move on from that situation and resolve the situation in the best possible way and they need to face the music this is something that they cannot avoid and they know this. That's why it's like, uh, what, I, what am I going to tell Scorpio? Because this person wants you to hear them out. They do. But I feel that this person at some point, I don't know, but I'm getting this very strongly here, is that this person would love you to reach out to them. And you might feel like, uh-huh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. I'm not getting your energy, Scorpio, here, wanting to reach out to this person. No. Five of Wands, yeah, conflict, arguments. It might be a ca case that there were, that, you know, 
you kind of parted ways on a not particularly good terms or there was some sort of kind of argument or disagreement and, and it created a tension between the two of you. Yeah, I'm seeing this person, it, we're talking here about a week, two weeks. I'm not seeing this person making any significant move here. I'm seeing them thinking a lot about you, thinking about what happened between the two of you, uh, understanding that they broke your heart, wanting to kind of, you know, I feel this person is planning again what to tell you, but there is something here about them wanting to as soon as possible move from that situation because it's uncomfortable for them in order to bring more kind of, you know, uh, like oh, this is someone who wants to open a new chapter with you but the thing is here with the five of ones that they need to address something that tension that conflict that the, the very core of the problem that caused uh, this connection uh, the where this connection is at the moment something here needs to be addressed and this person knows that Mm-hmm. Could you please show me the outcome? Okay. All right. Okay. So we have Ace of Cups, the Hanged Man, uh, Queen of Swords again, and Nine of Swords. So Scorpio, um, you might be dealing indeed with Pisces. We have Gemini. Crosswatches, the roles can be reversed. And Scorpio, if I haven't mentioned um, your favorite, mm, favorite person, <sighs> your special person, sign of Zodiac. Um, but you resonate with this reading, that's your message, okay? Ace of Cups, the Hangman, Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups. Ten of Pentacles as an overall energy for this reading. Well, this person here is going to reach out to you, Scorpio. If it's not going to be during, you know, a week or two weeks, it might happen, you know, in the third week or something like this or at the beginning of the next month. But Ace of Cups suggests here that either way this person will try to have a new beginning in love with you they will try to make amends with you they're coming here with an offer of love and they will try to kind of come across as someone who've changed perspective about everything they see things differently mm. nine of cups with the queen of swords it's like this person i feel that this person will say i really wish if you could uh give me another chance with this with this ace of cups that's what they, I feel this is what this person will tell you. They might even word it that way. I'm, I, I'm really kind of wish, I wish that, you know, we could, that I could have, to, there's something here about turning back time. Because there, this person will say something like, if I know what I know now, everything would be completely different. Um, I feel that this person will say, please, please, I wish, please consider giving me another chance. Or please hear me out. You are my wish come true, you know. Yeah, either way here, Scorpio, this person, either they will apologize or they will express some sort of kind of remorse here in a certain way. But there is something here about them reminiscing about the past. If And this person is saying something. If I knew what I know now, things would be completely different. We have the Ace of Cups in the first position. They will reach out. They will make an offer of love claiming here that they see things differently. They will ask you to hear them out. And they will claiming here that, you know, you are their wish fulfillment. Um, they really wishing to for you to accept that offer of love that they are coming in that they are offering you here yeah 
they will make a move big time ten of pentacles this person wants a serious relationship stable connection and i feel that this person is going to express this the thing is here scorpio that if you want this ten of pentacles suggests that it can be achieved but you know it depends on you essentially because for some of you, you might feel like uh, i'm done with this too much drama no i'm not interested mm -hmm. but if you have a wish ten of pentacles suggests that uh, this connection can get can can gain more stability you know but uh, this is someone here who needs to recognize that uh, they need to change scorpio i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly truly appreciate you scorpio have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day and once again thank you very much for being with me I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.